I figured it's only fitting that the Renaissance faction, who puts so much emphasis on beauty and perfection, fight against the ugliest demon we've seen yet. I get the feeling where this is not going to be a beauty contest. He is probably going to have quite a big edge. Vantage? What is happening? <laughs> there are horses stuck in midair. I think he turned the tank inside out. What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And for today's episode, we've got even more demons to check out. As some of you guys might remember the last episode, I released the first five demons, and they ended up being so wildly overpowered that like, nothing could beat them. Like, just one of them could wipe out an entire army of hundreds of units instantly. So I'm really interested in seeing what the four remaining stronger demons could possibly do. Funny enough, the hardest part about these battles is figuring out who's gonna get slaughtered by the demon. Like, let's be perfectly honest, they're not gonna be putting up a fight. This isn't to try to win. This is to see who can put on the best show. I figured it's probably fitting to do it on the spooky map versus the spooky faction. We've got a hundred of them. Every single spooky unit is here. And I guess we should probably release the sixth age demon? First, second, third, fourth, and fifth we've seen, I believe. But the sixth age demon is... Fabulous? Don't lie to me, none of you expected a giant floating neon pink viking. <laughs> that being said, we are not gonna underestimate him. I have no doubt he's gonna put up quite the fight as he knocks over the front line like a stiff breeze and then gets jumped by the vampires. Yes, yes, that's a good strategy, dogpile him. If he can't move, then he can't kill us. No, no, Grim, Grim. You stupid bag of bones, don't clear the vampires off of him. Oh my god. This is what happens when your army has no brains in their skulls. Oh, that is just miserable. We had him. He, he wasn't going to be able to move. Now he's, well, pretty much more sword than demon. Uh, oh, oh, really? I was gonna say we broke him and you had to go and wake him back up. Why do you guys do nothing but sabotage yourselves? <laughs> Look, he's clearly out to lunch and now you're out to lunch. We were so close. Wait, wait, Red? Red wins? Did, did we win? Where did he go? I can't find any trace of the sixth age demon anywhere. Like this might be his rib cage, but... There are a lot of rib cages lying around. We've got one catapult left, and that's all that matters. I can't believe the spooky faction won. I was gonna move on to the next demon, but I still don't really know what this guy does. Between getting dogpiled by vampires and concussed by giant pumpkins, he never really launched an attack, so let's try again, this time against Squires. He dives in, he knocks people over, we saw that much, and I know he picks up a couple of individuals, kind of like a reaper. Almost like he's got invisible tentacles, but just kind of freezes. He's got a little green heart cloud every now and then. I assumed he was going to be like Cupid because he's got hearts all over him and he's very pink, but Cupid don't do that. <laughs> oh, oh, that is super creepy. <laughs> that looks so cool on this map. <laughs> Yeah, this Squire's never stood a chance. I still don't think he's fully recovered from that earlier concussion, but... Oh. He's kind of zombifying them. Ugh, I don't want to think what happened to that guy. Uh... Right, they're dead. They're kind of green. I don't know if they're technically zombies or not. And they are falling in love. Okay. So it is a Cupid zombie... Reaper, Shockwave, I, I don't know. It, it's just a, a medley of we're gonna destroy you. I'm after summoning like a dozen seventh age demons now because I assumed they were coming out defective. Like, look at his head, his arms, his everything. You wouldn't expect anything to look like this, but nope, as intended. The spooky faction already surprised us, so maybe the dynasty faction can do the same? Like, I'm gonna give them a fighting chance. Again, it's 100 against one. I've built a pretty balanced army of all of their units. So let's see how you do against a gigantic 
fire demon? It's hard to tell if that fire, oh, that fire is not coming from the dragons. Nope, nope, uh, yeah, you see, that's the dragon. <laughs> And it is very much on fire rather than producing fire. So, you like to fly around and breathe fire, do you? And potato my computer. This was not even close to being close. <laughs> Did you guys see him take any damage? Because I sure didn't. You couldn't really see much of anything, to be perfectly honest. Is he toying with them? Come on, man. There we go. There's other demons waiting. Look. <laughs> like, uh, how, how, how is anybody supposed to beat that? That's much more demonic. Maybe ice giants would be able to put up a bit of a better fight? I mean, they don't really like this map. They tend to just kind of trip into the river and die instantly, but... I would imagine they can stand up to fire, considering they're covered in snow. Hopefully that is snow. Please tell me that's not hair. I don't want it to smell like a wig shop burned down in here. I don't think this theory is working out. Yeah, they're looking extra crispy from the very little bit that I can see. There's a good dog pile going on in here. <laughs> oh my god, there's so much fire. I gotta just back up. I gotta see this from a distance. Yeah, it's the entire map. Just the whole map is engulfed in flames. There's stuff exploding all over the place. You can kind of see him bopping in and out and not really caring all that much. <laughs> so at least we know that they can be beaten. That's the biggest thing. They don't have infinite health, maybe. Actually, we don't really know that, do we? We don't know what happened to the sixth age demon. He just kind of disappeared. He may very well just fallen off the map. Something tells me these giants cannot get him off the map. They can't do much of anything other than fry. <laughs> is anybody alive? Nope. Why is it the stupidest looking units are always the most powerful? Like, being ugly is a superpower in tabs. I think it's about time for a change of scenery. Okay, the spooky xylophone is just grinding its way into my mind. But we've successfully summoned the eighth age demon, and I've actually had to pause the game because he will not stop bobbing around. Probably because he doesn't want anyone to get a good look at him, he is hands down the most deformed unit we've seen yet. I figured it's only fitting that the Renaissance faction, who put so much emphasis on beauty and perfection, fight against the ugliest demon we've seen yet. I get the feeling where this is not going to be a beauty contest. He is probably going to have quite a big edge. Vantage? What is happening? <laughs> there are horses stuck in midair. I think he turned the tank inside out. There is so much to unpack right now, and I have never seen any of this before. Not only do the lightning bolts from the sky summon black holes, but it can shock the color out of people. We've got all black units, we've got all white units. Again, stuff is getting stuck in midair before it slams into the ground. And where is the other half of this tank? Where is Da Vinci? I didn't think these tanks could come apart. That was just so, so much more visually impressive than any other demon or any other unit we've ever seen in this game that I gotta try that again, but in slow motion. Everybody misses their shots, no surprise there, but it's the lightning bolts that really get ya, huh? So they all flash black and white and then just kind of freeze in midair until the bolts pull them into the ground. Interesting, I haven't seen horses fly or land on their hole like that before. And the bolts just keep on coming. They're huge too. They're definitely Zeus bolts, but they're the size of a building. And he still does that thing, like he's got invisible tentacles, sucking the life out of a couple of units and then using their power to just completely demolish everything. If you got any more bolts, or are you gonna use another power? No, no, he's got more bolts. Uh, listen, I'm really sorry about this. This was not necessarily my decision. I just kinda called him forward and here we are. Unreal. And again, this is the eighth age demon. We've still got another demon to go and it, this one might never let him have his chance because he's just playing with his food at this point. Okay then, 
I know I should probably move on to the last demon, but I can't help but see what this guy will do to giants. The, the giants just act so differently in every other case, and yes, okay, I'm classifying Snuffy as a giant right now. This is canon. But can he levitate them? Yup. He can bring them up in the air, he can slam them back down, he can screw with their colors. Can they even hit him? I don't think they really do. They just kind of bump up against him as they're dying. Like, that's the thing. With something like One Punch Man or like the Dark Peasant, you could at least get your hits in. And it was kind of possible to beat them. Not really, but sort of. In this case, you get nothing. You just get to watch. You look at him the wrong way and your brain melts out your ears. This, it, it, it's not even a fight. It's just watching units get wrecked. I'm not even gonna try getting rid of the giant army. There's no point. I'll just go ahead and summon the ninth age demon now and let him do his thing. What is it? Of course he would be small and unassuming share a lot of visual characteristics with the Reaper, who's totally not overpowered, right? <laughs> not like he's the strongest unit in the base game. All right, screw it, just do your thing. Go ahead, completely ruin them. I'm ready for it. Uh, Is he making them fight one another? Can he take control of the enemy's minds? Because, oh no, there's a bunch of weapons floating around, oh. He's summoning sentient weapons. You see, there's little weapons floating around and fighting them on their own. This is spears and, and swords and daggers and stuff like that. So, how do you fight this? Like, and at least with the summoner, they would summon actual tabs units, like an army for you to fight, but in this case, it's just ghost weapons. It was a little difficult picking out those weapons and seeing them work their magic between all those giant flopping bodies, so... We're gonna have the Ninth Age Demon face off against the Ancient Faction. Again, a hundred units. I've given them a fighting chance, I guess. Probably not. Not only does he dive in and do work himself, but... He's got his own invisible army. Oh my god. That is so incredibly overpowered. Hold on, I gotta slow this down. Can they actually fight these weapons? It looks like they're trying, but at the same time, I don't think it's an invisible unit holding the weapon. Like, look at that sword. Nothing is holding this. It's just kind of floating around, cutting people on its own. So there's no way for the enemy to actually win. They can't fight this. <laughs> They're just doing their best to defend themselves and flail and freak out as they get chopped to pieces. Yeah, I can see why this is the last demon because, again, it's not a fight. It's literally just watching units struggle until they die. How about this? One last fight, and if this crashes my computer and my recording and ruins the entire video, I am going to be livid. But it's worth it to see if tanks and jets and guns can beat a bunch of floating weapons, right? Do you really care about a knife floating around you if you're in a fighter jet? I'm not really sure. Oh, this is gonna be a slow motion battle without a doubt. Uh, they're hitting him. That's for sure. <laughs> Something is happening even slow motion seems to have potatoed everything. There are many explosions. <laughs> Guys, friendly, friendly fire, friendly fire. Okay then, so this has not panned out for us at all. Jets are still going strong, tanks not so much. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have put the RPGs in the back. They don't really know danger close all too well. All right, yeah, you know what? I don't think this is going anywhere fast, uh, other than, like I said, it's a failed recording, so we're gonna call it right about here.
You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And I should probably mention, if you didn't catch the video with the earlier demons or with these jets in the modern faction, you can check out my playlist. I'll try to leave a card somewhere. If not, it's on the channel. People are always telling me to do stuff that I've done in past videos. So I know not everybody can keep up with every video I upload. And I just feel the need to mention that I have explored a lot of this and I plan to explore more if you guys wanna see that. So as always, be sure to leave a like in this video, let me know, and I'll try to find a mod that has some units that can actually put up a, a fight rather than just kill everything and make me laugh. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.